hey there, haven't done anything with myself yet today, so... <laughs> Anyway, I was just watching a video called, Is Pixar Sexist? And it brought up the Bechdel test and said that only, only 10 out of 14 uh, Pixar movies pass the Bechdel test. Now, the Bechdel test is something where it's not a very stringent standard. It's basically saying that, you know, there has to be at least two women in the movie and they have to talk about more than just guys. You know, that's not a very stringent standard. But I guess, um, I guess four Pixar movies didn't pass it. And it just kind of, it just kind of gets me thinking, you know, if we start to do, if we start to hold movies to these, these statistical standards, is there going to be another, st the, the next step in that? Or is it going to be ratcheted up? Are we going to start to try to include other demographics in that sort of test? And all I'm picturing in my mind now is some extreme of, and hopefully that things will never get this bad, but still, an extreme of um, every demographic that one can think of, that one can easily break things down into, needs to be equally represented in, in a movie, you know, race, belief system, sex, gender, um, that sort of thing. And they all have to be perfectly, 100% equally represented. And I'm picturing these standards that the directors will have to go by. I mean, one of the problems to me right now with movies is that they're too formula already. Um... A lot of the filming techniques, directing techniques, the way that effects are done, a whole shit ton of things have been refined to the point where everybody does things the same. It's hard to tell differences between directors now because all these different other aspects of, of filmmaking have been, have been, have become formula, have been formulized. And... You know, plots already, movie plots already have been pretty formula. But if we add this sort of thing into it, I mean, I don't know, to me, it would, it would ruin movies. It would, they'd just be toast. And so I start thinking about Gamergate. And I initially wasn't applying this concept to what could happen to games just wasn't thinking about it. You know, I think it's a really bad idea to... I think it's a bad idea in movies, and I think it's a bad idea in games to... And I didn't think... Like I said, I didn't think about this before. I was only thinking about this in the sense of movies. Because I have thought about this, you know, every so often, but never never to the point until I saw that, that, that video, Is Pixar Sexist? Of, you know, if we start to have to include all the demographics all the time in every game. It would just... It would turn games into this mishmash of political correctness. And movies, like I said, it would turn movies into this mishmash of political correctness. Perfect inclusiveness. 100%. And then pretty soon, you know, any movie that doesn't do that, any game that doesn't do that, will be judged poorly. You know, there, there's... How far is this kind of thing going to go? Now, I'm hoping that, you know, what I'm talking about is just... I'm hoping I'm, I'm making a slippery slope argument. I actually hope I'm making a slippery slope argument. I hope that things will never turn out quite like that. I can cross my fingers, you know. Um, now oh, the way it looked on camera. Yo, 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 man, yo. Oh, look, uh, uh, live long and perspire. Um, but anyway, I'm not really sure where to go now, but I... It was just making me think about how I was not thinking previously about 
some of the concerns that people have about games. I just wasn't really, I wasn't thinking about it. And I guess I'm understanding a little bit more now. Um, could things get as bad as what I was mentioning? Could things get as bad as uh, every demographic having to be perfectly represented? Or is there just a tiny, at least a tiny bit of representation that's wanted? But, I mean, if we start including all these different demographics, how, even if it's just a tiny bit of it, I mean, it would be like, oh, look, it's the token character. <laughs> you know? Oh, look, the token character in the game. Oh, look, the token character in the movie. Oh, look, the token conversation. You know, I, I, I don't know. It just seems like this, this whole mindset is going to lower the quality of, of movies and games. Will lower the quality of the entertainment that is put out there. So, now is it really that important? Not really, but... If you are a moviegoer, you are a game, if you do, if you if you're a gamer, it will lower the quality of your enjoyment. And you know, for the most part life is trying to be about enjoying it. And if people are disrupting the ability to enjoy life um and they're purposely trying to limit people's ability to enjoy life, that is something to be angry about. And that is something I was not being very empathetic towards before. And uh, to those that I sort of preached at before about that subject, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Um, I was being pretty short-sighted. So, anyway.